Hello, welcome to Coast Diecast. Uh, my name's Robert. If you're new here, uh, I mainly do I do one and ten scale now. I used to do all scales, like one sixty four, one hundred four, and so on. Uh, but I mainly focus on one and ten scale now. Um, what I collect is just basically um, real or oh, model cars of real cars. I would like to collect, or I would like to have the real one of, or just cars I like the styling of, etc. Um, but please stick around. Um, I'm sure there'll be something either in all of my past videos or on uh, future or pre present videos that you will like. Um, and stay or. Don't want, me, don't want you to miss out on those, but anyway, today I'll be doing a video a review of the 110 scale Masio Mercedes Benz 300 SL Uber Uhermark uh, Coupe. I know I butchered the pronunciation of that name wrong, but um, my German is rusty. Haven't learned German from, um, haven't. I haven't spoke German since high school, but, um, oh, and before I start off, could, um, if you're going to leave a comment on my channel, um, or any of my videos, please put it in English, because, um, it doesn't, uh, let me translate, I, I want to reply to people's comments, but I don't want to, or copy and paste and put it in Google Translate and so on, and might get it wrong, so please leave it in uh, please leave it in English so I can reply back to you. Um, but anyway, thank you for listening to that. I'll get on the video. Um, this one I have never actually seen this model of before, before it came up on this auction website. Um, they get majority of one eighteen stars from. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I was like, um, I wish I kept my 300 ASL by Mini Champs. I really do wish I kept it now. This look would look fantastic beside it. At the same time, I could have got um, uh, the Sterling Moss edition, and I wish I did get that because I've now got the Sterling Moss, uh, modern Sterling Moss version. But anyway, um, oh, there it is. Trying to look for a thing to open it. Um, but the first off at the beginning, at the front of it, has got the wide Mercedes Benz logo and grill. That goes all the way through. It's like the engine bay, I suppose. I, don't, I can't remember if it's got a um, mesh grill behind there or not. Um, and then the problem with us, the headlights is that. There is a clear, there's a bar going from the headlights to the uh, lens. Um, I wish they would have cut that out because it looks kind of cheap, in my opinion. Um, the hood, it's just got a, uh, a bit of, a bit of uh, silver plastic, is like an air vent. Oops. The engine bay, really actually quite detailed, especially for a Massio model. I actually like this engine, I really like this engine. Oh, you can see where the, the, um, grill goes to. Apparently, oh, there's only two of these, the real cars that were made, um, so I heard, um, and if they went to auction in the real, or if they if were ever going to go to auction, which they probably will never go to auction, be over a hundred million, that's, that's a lot of money, more than the 250 GTO, um, nice car, nice car, shit. Um, it's got nice chrome wheel rims, uh, spokes, and the spinning, uh, spinning uh, like star. It's got the Mercedes Benz logo in the middle. It's got 
the events or so grill events. Like oh the interior of this is like one of my favorite parts of it. Need two hands to do that, but I manage. It's got like the uh, tartan seats. It's actually a really nice detail to it. I've actually had some really nice Mastia models in the past. It's unfortunate that the modern day ones don't really do anything like detail wise, like these seats, They're, like bland. It's still well. Gauges, rear vision mirror. I mean, honestly, they haven't really been, Massio haven't really been doing any uh, like 1950s German or sports cars like that. It's kind of um, strange because they actually really did, they actually have done really nice ones. Um, the trunk area, two spare tires, where they would be. Um, got D on the back of it, you can see the 300 SLR. Or German license plate, I suppose it is. Rear light or tail lights are just a bit of chrome plastic. The passenger side, these are the gauges. I'm confused. I get wow. The pedal, the foot pedal is on the opposite side, on the side it's not supposed to be. Well, almost like on the passenger side. It's very strange. Or maybe they. Yeah. I've never seen that before. It's weird. Maybe you have to. That's weird. I have, to, I have to look at real photos of this car. That's just strange, but you know. Um, this passenger side's got the exhaust pipes. Exhaust, yeah, the exhaust pipes. Uh, storage compartment, I suppose, like for, like tools, the toolkit. Um, really got a nice uh, side presence to it. I um, my overall opinion of this. It's a fantastic model, especially for like a budget model. <coughs> um, if you can find this and you're or um, say he's Benz or a German uh, or a racing classic racing fan, vintage racing classic fan, racing fan, uh, I would recommend you get this. Um, it's a really nice model. You won't be disappointed with it. It's been in the pan like I think like truck or. Two thousand bucks, twenty two hundred bucks and above for the CMC uh, version of this. Um, Auto Art should actually do a model of this. You'll know, definitely get there if they do. Um, but you know, thanks for watching. Please kind of like subscribe. Um, follow my Instagram, coach underscore diecast. I'm slowly getting back into posting on there. I know I've said in the past I am, but. Um, I really am. Um, please go over there and follow me. 
I'm nearly at a hundred followers on Instagram, so um, that's great. Finally hit 300 on my on this or uh, diecast uh, channel, which I'm really happy about. Till next time, have a great day. Keep collecting, stay on the hunt for those for your or want or hard to find or want models. You'll more likely get them at some point. And peace.